mankind's capacity for achievement is seconded only by our ability to destroy. You see, we've cultivated that, we've cherished it, we've developed it over millions of years of evolution. Um, it is not uniquely human. Our other primate brethren show the same destructive tendencies. It is unfortunate, though, when we see it rear its ugly head in our community here on YouTube, because we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be the free thinkers. We're supposed to be the logical ones. We're supposed to be those furthest removed from our animal origins. But time and time again, time and time again, we prove that we are just as petty as any religious zealot. You see, I don't really want to speak to the relationship between Coughlin, Peach, and Devshell. I met both Peach and Devshell in D.C. I only spoke to them briefly, but they seemed nice enough folk. But it's really none of my fucking business what they do with their body parts. Um, I believe that's something we've been arguing here on YouTube for quite some time, is it not? Now it is alarming to see how quickly the minions of YouTube move to destroy both the Peach and DevShell 2 once the news broke, but it isn't really surprising because once you're identified as the other, once that blood is in the water, the sharks come and they are hungry. Now I'm going to play some clips here because what I wanted to say about this, let's just say that this whole thing brought all of these clips to my mind, and uh, I thought they'd be relevant. Now, please don't think I'm comparing the situation to anything directly depicted. Um, this is just something I think that we should all be aware of. Um, our animal origins and our capacities our capacities once that destroy the other begins now I will make a special point that I don't want to compare what happens to the woman in this video to what happened to Peach you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it but one must wonder, while this woman was undergoing the tortures that were put upon her, how many of her attackers were calling her names like whore and slut and traitor. So here are some clips to help us keep in mind exactly how deep that rabbit hole goes once we identify the evil other that must be destroyed. And, at the very end, a special four-word message from me to all of you who saw it fitting to chase the Peach and Devshell into exile for their crime. Way to go. I'm Pat Farabee. Have a good day. What is the penalty for apostasy? What do you teach the children will happen to them if they give up the Muslim faith? Well, let's bring the debate back into Britain. What is the penalty for apostasy? Right, what, we will do. what is the penalty for apostasy? What is the penalty for leaving the Muslim faith? Um, to be honest, I cannot back that point up. Dr. As Mukadam, I'm not... what is the penalty for apostasy? Well, um, before yeah, 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 we well, keep coming down this apostasy, well, give, us quick, give, us, give, give us a quick answer if, if on if you what you is the penalty for apostasy. Islamic country, you Sorry? very well know if it's an Islamic country, then the Sharia is very clear. Apostasy, apostasy is dealt with the death penalty. Thank you. That's all yeah, I well, want well, to hear. But what's, that, what's, the, what's the relevance between what happens in an Islamic country and Great Britain? I fear to see the connection. Dua had been seen with a Sunni Muslim man. She had not married him or converted, this official said, but her attackers believed she had. Dua's family belongs to the Yazidi sect. It draws on the beliefs of religions like Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, and does not approve of mixing with people outside the faith. 
male bonded coalitionary violence with lethal raiding against innocents is as old as our species, it is even older. Uh, and it, this capacity is embedded in all men. Every man in this room has that capacity. The women are off the hook on this one. What's the evidence? These are the Yanomama warriors of South America. The reason these men are important is that this is a window into deep time, into deep history, the time before history, the environment that we evolved in. Up until the year 1500, two-thirds of the world, still small hunter-gatherer populations. This is the context in which our psychological capacities evolved. You have to deal with certain myths first. The idea that uh, peaceful societies were common, sort of the noble savage, um, and that violent conflicts were infrequent, combat was limited, it's just a product of capitalism and patriarchy in the modern world. Uh, because the reality is that war is universal and common. The hunter-gatherers, the environment that we evolved in, ruthlessly violent, What do I mean by lethal rates? Parties of allied men collectively seek out a vulnerable neighbor, assess the probability of success, and conduct a surprise attack. Again, this capacity is not uniquely human. It occurs in other species. It is favored by natural selection. It is continuous in warfare in human and pre-human history. In January of 1974, uh, in one of the, uh, in Jane Goodall, one of her uh, uh, chimpanzee areas, one of the field workers watched a group of males come together and with coordination, stealth, and surprise, move to a neighboring community, find victims, and kill them. It was observed repeatedly. Think of the cognitive software to be able to do that, without language, to come together with coordination, stealth, and surprise, and to kill. It's been observed numerous times before, I mean, numerous times since, this is a, a group of chimpanzees in Uganda moving out on a lethal raid. These calls announced the start of a raid into land controlled by their neighbors. The Fellow citizens, at this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. On my orders, coalition forces have begun striking selected targets of military importance to undermine Saddam Hussein's ability to wage war. Командиры будут работать, партизаны и партизаны. Вот те же достоинства. Вы эту войну освободительно, справедливо. When a human being becomes the new prey, and the hunting pack turns on one of its own kind, the savagery of the mob knows no bounds. For the lynchman, the victim becomes effectively a member of another species, a prey to be destroyed. Several males corner an enemy female. It's a ferocious attack, and she's lucky to escape with her life. This is not normal human aggression. This is a corrupted hunting pack on the prowl, looking for a kill. you believe that you came from a monkey, doesn't that give you permission to act like one too? If you believe that you came from a monkey, doesn't that give you permission to act like one too?